Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 24th of 2020. Well, it is titled Enceladus in infrared. So what do we see here? Well, this includes five images of Saturn's moon known as Enceladus. And this is an unusually active moon. And we're seeing it looking in the infrared as studied by the Cassini spacecraft for over a decade. So putting a decade's worth of images together to be able to get this to try to learn more about this unusual moon. Now when we look at them we can see the top three are labeled as the leading hemisphere Saturn facing and trailing hemisphere. So what does this mean? Well, like most of the other larger moons within the solar system, they are tidally locked to the planet they orbit. Our moon, of course, always keeps the same face pointing towards Earth. And in a similar manner, the other moons keep the same face pointing towards their planet. So the Saturn facing side is the one that is facing Saturn all the time. Now the leading hemisphere would be the one that leads as it travels around the orbit. So since one side is always pointing towards Saturn, the other one side will be leading and the other side will be trailing. So that's what those other two are showing in the top image. So the leading one happens to be more active. As you can see, the red shows the fresh ice. So the more redder it is, the fresher the ice that you're seeing. And that is what we see on the leading hemisphere prim primarily among the upper images. Now down below we see the uh, other images which are the two uh, the two poles so the north polar region on the left and the south polar region on the right. Now you can see that the south polar region is extremely uh, fresh ice and actually has the tiger stripes going across it, giving it the South Pole, give the South Pole region being very active and having a lot of material that goes down into an ocean below the surface. So it is fresh ice brought up there. And in fact, we've seen geysers from the South Pole of this moon. So we can see here some of the regions of this. And of course, one of the things you want to try to learn is why this moon is so active compared to others. So what is causing it to heat up so much near its southern pole? And that is something that astronomers are still studying. But one of the things that they're interested in is because it does have water and liquid water down below the surface, it could possibly have conditions that are suitable for life down below. So it would be interesting to see as, as we have studied this and continue to study images that Cassini left us with to, to learn a little more about this moon. To, to better understand the possibility for life. So some of the other things that we can see not in addition to the fresh ice there is some of the very old cratered regions on the Saturn facing side towards the top where we can see old craters. And those craters would then be the some of the older regions of this uh, moon areas that have not been wiped out by ice for a long long time as it takes time for the cratering to build up to that extent. So you notice that in the redder regions we do not see any craters those are relatively new and relatively recently resurfaced. So again continued studies of these images even with Cassini no longer uh, present orbiting Saturn, we still can use the data that was collected over more than a decade to still learn about many of the objects in the Saturnian system. So that was our picture of the day for September the 24th of 2020. It was titled Enceladus in infrared. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.